Hey guys, here we are um, looking at how to do a knockout. So um, this one's really simple. It just um, needs a little bit extra steps, but it's super similar to um, doing anything with the subtract, kind of like the split monogram. So here we go. Um, I'm going to do, uh, let's see what comes to mind. How about the Bengals, since they're doing well for once. Um, okay, so let's do... Bengals. And let's make this bigger. And we clearly need a much cooler font than that. So I'm going to do Call of Ops Duty. I love this font. You can get it at defont.com. Um, and then I have, um, let's see, don't mind my hot mess. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hoarder. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I was use, I use this for my daughter's um, t-shirt. I just traced this off of Google so I don't own rights to it so I can't sell it. Um, but that's not a problem because I just put it on my daughter's shirt. So not a big deal. But I'm going to flip horizontally so I can get it to face forward. And then I'm going to shrink it down because I want it to fit inside of my word. So I'm going to get creative and I'm just going to... I was going to replace it with the B here, but I think I'm just going to put it in the center. Make it a little taller. Okay, that'll work for me. So now um, I'm going to select all of this and I'm just going to group it. And the reason why is because I need to make a copy of it. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. I'm just going to drag this out of the way. I'll use it later and you'll see why. So I'm going to ungroup this again. Perfect. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything again, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to go Object, Modify, Subtract. I know that looks ridiculous, but don't worry about it. Now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to ungroup this, and I'm going to go to Object, Modify, Crop. Okay. Now, um, that looks kind of nuts, but don't worry, because we're going to put it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and group all these pieces so they stay together. And I'm going to group all these pieces so they stay together. And then I'm going to um, fill them in so that it's easier. So let's make the bangles black, and let's make the B orange. Okay. Then... We're just gonna scoot this guy up in here. And then I like to use my arrows to get it spot on. And then I'm just gonna group it all back together to make sure I like how it looks. And I like it. So the red that you guys are seeing, by the way, that's just because I didn't change my line color. So there you go. Then um, remember, if you're gonna cut it, you need to ungroup it and pull that B out of there and that those lines are black which is fine then I'm gonna um, print this one separately and print this one separately cut print you know okay now remember if you're doing heat transfer you need to mirror or flip so now you can have it correct for when you put it on your shirt so there you go that's how you do a knockout I'm just gonna flip it back around now, I know that there are other tutorials on YouTube that show like you can um, put squares in place so that everything lines up, and that's perfectly fine. You can do that. Um, basically, what that means is you would take this piece and you would draw a little box, and I'm just going to duplicate it, put them like that, and then group. Whoops, those look terrible line those guys up let's just do line top and then we'll group all of that so that way if you want um, you could do the exact same thing um, literally just put this in place I'm gonna wiggle him in like that and then I'm going to ungroup it because I'm going to make more blocks. I'm literally just going to hit 
actually, you know what? I lied. I'm going to go here because this is going to be so much easier. And I'm just going to duplicate above and then I'm going to scoot them down in. Because that's easier for me. Okay, now since those are selected, I'm just going to hold my shift key and I'm going to grab that B and I'm going to group it and I'm going to pull it away and then I'm going to select all this and I'm going to group it. There we go. So now, if this is easier for you, I don't do this just because it's a waste of vinyl and I'm cheap. So um, now you can just, when you have everything laid out, you can just use those little squares to kind of line up on your paper or your vinyl or whatever you're cutting and your squares will line up. So these squares would print with the B and with the bangles. So there you go. That's how you do a knockout. It's pretty easy. Hope you guys enjoy.